medical assistance needed. Agent down. What's up guys, Redline back in another division video. Today I want to showcase my Bomberman 2 build. Um, this build is a remix of a, one of the first builds I've done on Division 2 with the Ninja Bike backpack. I now get more utility out of it. A lot of people are trying to make, you know, the new meta builds or something like that. But I think the Ninja backpack is more for utility builds. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean in a second. If you like this build, please stick around, hit the like and subscribe button. We're going to get right into the video. All right, I'm rocking a Demolisher. Obviously, for the extra explosive damage, we're going to try to get that. Uh, skill damage, skill haste everywhere. Also, I have the Capacitor to build up skill damage, need be. A FAMAS here, but a test subject is also fine. The car custom to put me at six skill tiers need whenever I need to. Also, have a chill out mask for skill haste. And uh, it has skill damage on it, but I'm going to show you why I have so much skill haste. And how did I get so much skill haste in just a moment? Obviously, Brazos for skill haste and the skill tier. I'm rocking um, Tag Team to reduce my cooldowns by six seconds when I damage a target with a skill. Also, have skill haste explosive damage for the China Light. Um, Grupo gives me explosive damage. Honey, you gives me skill haste and skill damage. So, you want skill haste, skill damage on everything, all skill haste mods. And obviously what makes this possible, the Ninja Bike Backpack. All right, so as we get into the skills, you're gonna see I have an 8.3 cooldown with five skill tiers on my turret, which means I can get it back extremely fast, under 10 seconds. I'm gonna show you the cooldowns for as many explosive skills as you want. You use Tag Team, you minus six seconds off of any of those and that's what you'll get. So again, supposed to sticky, take six seconds off of that, got a nine second cooldown, no hardwire. Uh, if I pull out my card custom, I get 10 second cooldowns with this. Well, you know, 10 second cooldowns, take six seconds off of that, four seconds. I'll show you guys how that performs in a moment. So this allows me to continuously bombard teams over and over and over again with explosives from both my artillery that go over cover, and then my drone that can go around corners that I can't reach. I'm going to show you guys how I do this. I've been using the Bombardier drone for like the longest. I make it go around corners. Whatever I need to do, I'm going to show you guys some examples of how I do it and how to get some kills with it if you PvP or if you PvE. And also, since it's explosive, if you're playing PvE, you can definitely damage uh, any rovers or robot robots that you need and take them out of the game just as fast. All right, so as I go into the range, here's the premise of the build, right? I drop the drone on you, or on any ads, right? Shoot the guy that stays alive, I can drop another drone in four seconds. So this is faster than anything hardwire can put out at any time. It takes 10 seconds to build that up with the backpack. You don't even need that. With this build, you can just continuously pummel your opponents with AOE explosives that do damage to them. If they're in a 1v1 situation, they have to move out the way. The same thing applies for artillery. Artillery is definitely very strong. Now, if I combine these together, you definitely could be one shot. You can be hit with three explosions at once that make you stagger. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of uh, what this can do in Legendary, and we'll come right back. Alright, so here in this clip, I'm showing you guys I'm able to attack enemies behind cover and damage things like their support station and even get rid of them while they are behind cover. Also, what the drone and artillery uh, turret does is force enemies, especially elites, to dive into the open or in an area where my team could focus them down. This allows uh, for shorter confrontations because nobody's in cover. They're not allowed to be in cover or they suffer for it, as I've shown here 
when I'm bombarding the box, the ads are staying around me because they want to get healed, which actually ends up costing them their lives in that situation. Okay, so I'm showing you guys here is how I don't necessarily have to be in the room to attack my enemy. So I can be in a safe area behind cover. Meanwhile, the ads, they can't find cover because I'm bombarding the area. So this ends up killing people, taking them out, getting the room cleared really quick. Nobody's allowed to hide. I'm able to take out multiple objects at one time. Like if these guys that like to throw the drones out, they're able to, not able to do that because they're not able to sit in cover long enough to launch the drones at you. They also, the controllers are not able to do things like tell the, the rovers to come get you. They're not able to pull out their remotes and do those types of things. We also had the healers not able to put down support stations, and if they do, they get destroyed almost immediately because it just functions as a bullseye for my artillery turret or my drone to say, hit here, and you'll hit a large amount of enemies. So that's just one more thing I wanted to add. All right, so what you're gonna see here in these next few clips is me and a DZ with some friends um, handling people, can, you know, killing some people. We don't win everything, but we don't lose everything either. So uh, I'm able to take advantage of situations where people are strafing a lot, or if they're strafing too much, my artillery turret and drone will handle that, stagger them out of it, especially if my teammates fighting in a 1v1 situation. I can bombard the people while they're trying to do this. Also, um, People are not allowed to take cover. You take cover, I'll try to make you suffer for it. If you try to hide, I can make you suffer for it because I can place my drone and artillery turret in places where you can't hide. It's, it's, it's impossible to hide if I can shoot over the cover into your cover. It's impossible to hide if you go around the corner and my drone comes around the corner also. So just a few things. I'm also able to pop kids while I'm attacking at the same time, roll out of the way, tell my drone to do its thing at the same time, so.
Robin Weed. Out, out the door, out the door. That's a wrap for him. Leave him. Leave him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Behind us, behind us, behind us. And at the door now, at the door now. He's decoyed up. He's right there. He's right there. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Down the street, Watch back, watch back. Yep, 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 yep. Both, both of them shot me. Yep, I'm there. You see him down about the distraction? Yep. Yeah. He's on people. He's dead. He's there. He's a rat. Yeah. 